being able to rotate instanced objects around their local y-axis while still having that object be aligned to the surface direction is a very valuable skill to have. So let's talk about the basic way to execute this technique in Houdini using quaternions. And you can also feel free to download the project file for this render in the video description. Let's create a geometry node. And I'll use the rubber toy for this. Can go ahead and remove the shader and make it half the size. Let's also use the axis align node just to bring this back to the ground. I'm also going to make a sphere, make it a polygon sphere, and make it a bit bigger. Something like this seems fine. And let's go ahead and give this sphere some point normals. And I can also scatter some points onto the surface. Maybe 25 is good. And let's see what happens if we try to copy this rubber toy on top of these points. So let's use the copy to points node. And we can see that this is not looking quite right. All of the orientations are wrong. And the reason for this is because Houdini expects any geometry we are copying on top of these points to already be rotated so that the local y-axis or the top side of this geometry is facing the same direction as the world set axis. So we can go ahead and just rotate this 90 degrees on the x-axis. And this is what Houdini expects. We can see that this is looking pretty good right now, but we don't want to have to rotate our assets each time we want to copy our instance, right? So let's go ahead and remove this rotation value. And I can create a point vop. And let's dive inside. Inside of vops, we have this node called the align node. And this node lets us rotate one vector onto another one. So I want the target vector to be the normal attribute and the initial vector is going to be just a normal up vector. And this is basically exactly what we were doing when we were rotating our rubber toy earlier. So this outputs a matrix three rotation matrix value by default. So let's convert this to a quaternion. And if I output this into the orient attribute, which is an attribute that Houdini recognizes. We can see that this is now working without us having to rotate our geometry. And something fun we can do with, with quaternions is multiply them together. So let's go ahead and make another quaternion on the y-axis like this. And I'll use a quaternion multiply node and plug this into the second input. Now, if I start to slide this angle parameter around, we can see that all of these copies are now rotating around their local y-axis and they're still respecting the direction of this surface that they are instanced upon. So this is a use, really useful technique to know, especially when we do any type of environment asset scattering or any type of instancing. This is going to be very important to know.